Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Plays Hero Generations. If you're wondering what Hero Generations is all about, very good question. If you're, uh, Hero Generations is a four-time strategy roguelite game. Um, think of something along the lines of uh, Civilization, except without the difficult barrier. Not that I'm saying that Civilization is a difficult game to get into, but, you know, occasionally, especially for people that are new to the genre, it can kind of be a little bit of a difficult barrier, at least learning the culture, sciences, etc., etc. With Hero Generations, it does have that element, except it's really, really watered down, and that's not a knock against it, it's just very, very easy to kind of pick up, learn it really, really fast, and get into the game without having to worry too much about, oh, am I researching the right things, or am I picking up the right um, tech trees, etc., etc. So, um, there's a tutorial you can kind of do over here as well. I would encourage you to do it just to get your feet wet, but honestly, the moment you're done with the tutorial, you'll get the game. Alrighty, so we have a new primary quest. Kill Boss... Yes, and reward is 4,500 fame. Alrighty. Oh, that's another quest too. Build a monument. 4,000 fame. Alrighty. So, here is the uh, startup point itself. As you can see, everything is over here kind of in a fog of war type of system. You're supposed to go out there and kind of um, reveal what's out there. Essentially, we're starting off with this character right here. The main goal of this character is going to be to kind of attain a lot of fortune, a lot of um, fame, traits, and things of that nature. And then you're going to actually have to find a mate in order to kind of reproduce, and then you will take over that offspring, and then you're going to kind of redo the system again. And essentially what the point is, you're trying to, you know, explore the lands. There's at least three different huge maps that you can kind of unlock, and they're all kind of interconnected with each other. But essentially, you want to just get your offspring as a better life, and then that offspring's going to reproduce and keep your bloodline going. If you fail in doing that, that's going to be game over, and again, a roguelite element type of game. That's game over, start a new, right? We've talked about it, let's see it in action over here. So, let's see, over here we have, um, Strength 1. This is gonna be the strength of our character right here. Um, what's really, really interesting about this game that I didn't even talk about, which is one of the biggest things here. Every time you move, it is one year off of your life. Every single tile that you move is one year. You can see your life expectancy over here, so this guy's gonna live at least 70 years before he actually dies from natural causes. Again, you can't die in battles and in events and things of that nature, but naturally, if you keep him safe and sound, he should be out there for 70 years fine. Now, the problem with that is that the longer you keep your guy from actually finding a mate and reproducing, his um, skills will diminish and then your offspring will basically get um, lesser skills and lesser card flips, and we'll talk about the card flips really soon. So, 70 years is where um, expectancy over here. We have one strength and we have um, five combat damage. The combat, I will talk about that when we get into combat over here. It's kind of like a little bit of a dice roll type of game. And then we have our gold right here. We have no traits and we have no items accumulated. Zero fame. Alrighty. So, let's start moving about over here. This is our startup village. We're going to go down number one and see what's down over here. Age 17. So, as you can see, I started at 16. Every single hero that you start off with will start at 16 and then they will move on. Down over here, you can see, um, if you, wherever your offspring came from, there's different villages in the game. You could mate with people from other villages, by the way. But if they came from that specific village, you have the option to actually build, um, some of these monuments down here, which actually increase different things. For, for instance, farm gets 400 gold every 10 years. Nearby town mates add an additional 100 gold. You have barracks, which produces five strength for heroes for every 10 years. And we have the observatory, real four random spaces under clouds when visited. And museum. Museum gives you a two times fame earned for completing ancient treasures, um, quests, I should say, and then district adds one new maid to nearby town population, so you could actually increase how many mates will be in that town for you to pick and choose. Now, not every mate's gonna wanna kind of, um, hang out with you, right? You're not gonna be that charming, Rico Suave type of character, so sometimes they'll be like, you know, oh, if you wanna get with me, you need to have, like, you know, so and so amount of fame, so and so amount of strength, etc., etc., so keep that in mind. Alright, so right now we could build something. I guess we'll probably start building something initially here. Uh, we have 1,000 gold, so we could actually drop down for the farm, which is going to give us 400 gold every 10 years, which doesn't seem too bad. And this is for strength. Let me go with strength as an ag, we can't actually afford it. So we could do observatory. I'm not too crazy about that one. Museum wouldn't be that bad for fame, and this is to get some more mates over here. Let me just start off with the farm. So we'll start off with farm, we'll drop all of our money away, but now every 10 years we will get an act um, a chance to get um, 400 gold. So let's start moving down a bit more. We gain 200 fame, and... We have another year into our life, so now we're 18, I want to say. So let's move over here. Alright, we got a combat. Now this guy's going to wreck us. He's got a 0 of 3 capability. We have 0 of 1. So we're going to actually have to retreat right now. It's going to actually cost us 20 fame, so retreating from battle is um, something I would encourage you to do if you see you can't beat this fight. However, again, running costs you 10% fame, so we got to leave right now. We can't fight this guy. They, they won't actively chase you other than bosses, and we'll talk about bosses whenever they do show up over here. Um, let's see, over here we have age 21, this guy's over here living in this town, protecting it, 
We can't really do much. Let's come over to this town over here. We got 300 gold. We could enter Osh Oshiro and see about finding a mate, but right now we need to do a lot more things before we actually go down with that. Now, down over here, you see this um, ancient ruins. Houses ancient treasures that give you fame when you return to towns, which is really good. However, grabbing this um, treasure will spawn one of the bosses, and it's kind of like, I think the first one's like this weird dragon dude, and you don't want to really mess with that guy early on, especially since we haven't really matured. Once we mature, we'll actually get a boost to our strength, but right now we're kind of running. Oh, there's that boss that I was talking about. He's going to actively chase you whenever you grab that treasure, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I see you, bro. I see you growling. We're wasting a lot of time over here. Oh, as you can see, 0 of 84. That's no good. Let's get out of here. I'm losing a lot of fame doing that, but so be it. Better than dying. All right, there's an observatory over here. Oh, hey, 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 I didn't... Oh, I did grab it. Did I grab it? Oh, I, I guess I grabbed the, uh, the ruin thing. That's what he's after me. I totally did. Oh, God. That's no good. So we're going to be an adult now, though. So we're going to actually get a boost to our strength. So that's going to give us to 11 now. We'll apparently grow some hair out. We're going, we're done with our teen years of like looking like a shaved head punker, and now we're just kind of like, I don't know, some sort of like Johnny Depp type of Edward Scissorhands type of look here. So, whenever you do mature to adult, there's going to be adult and midlife. I've never gotten to senior, so I'm not sure if there's another card flip involved with that one. I really doubt it though. But right now, we have one card flip over here to kind of increase either our fame, our life expectancy, etc., etc. Um, we can do this one for life expectancy. Right now, we have 53 years left to live, so let's go with flipping that guy for strength. One plus strength, that's not too bad. Alrighty, and we have a battle over here, and now, because we entered uh, adulthood, we actually have a bigger uh, fighting boost, so we could definitely fight this guy. He is Anza from the Minion of Argon 4, so we're going to attack this dude over here. Now, when you attack him, you're actually going to degrade his life expectancy over here. And we were actually, we were so strong over his um, life expectancy, they actually killed him in one hit. Usually, they will flee from battle if they can't really stand up to you, and you could chase them down if you really want to kill him and be a dickbag about the whole thing here. But right now, Dragon Man's after me. I need to get out of here. And I hope... Oh, I got another one, too. Okay, this is going to be pretty bad, because now, in order to get back to town, I am going to have to fight Homeboy over here to the left. Hopefully, it's not too difficult. We have a random event over here with 800 gold. Excellent. We have two of the treasures on us, so that's going to be some pretty good fame for us right there. We have another fight over here. We're going to attack this dude, because I think we could pretty much take him on. Seven and four. All right, we attacked him, and we killed him with one hit, too. Alrighty, so he's Dunsky as well. We got some 200 fame right there as well from doing that. Hey, let's just go back to town. Quest complete. We got the um, ancient treasure. We got 500 fame for that. We should get two of those, right? Absolutely. Alrighty, we got some gold over here as well. The gold came from actually the um, accumulation over time, because remember, now with the, we have the farm, mates over here will develop, or possible mates will develop 100 extra gold in town. Now, I'm not sure if this dude's going to actually chase me throughout the entire map now that I deliver these things, but let's find out. No, he stopped. So the moment you're done holding that, he's going to actually stop. And apparently, they do spawn yet again. Or actually, no, that one was already there. We picked this one up and that one right here. Okay, so now we got some gold from our farming as well. We have 45 years left to live still, so we're going to continue going onward a little bit. As you can see, some gold was developed in our town over here if we want to go there. Now, mind you, we don't have to have to go back there to find a mate. We could do it over here and here. You're not, you know, just um, relegated to one area. So let me come down over on this side. We got some 100 gold over here. 400 gold as well. Good. And let's come down to this town and see what's going on over here. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. So Zongon, Minions of Sanon's Lair, he's going to jack my shit up. So let's actually just flee. I'm going to lose some fame for that, but so be it, rather than dying. Um, let's come down over here and grab this gold. And I'm almost inclined to actually go in here and find our first maid. Just maybe. Now, if we come out of this town and we find a mate out of this town, our offspring will get the um, Oshiro Barracks boost, which is um, 5 strength every 10 years. So that could be pretty good. So you know what? I think that we had a pretty productive life over here. Let's enter Oshiro. And let's see, what do you need? Koshiro wants a hero with at least 15 strength? Uh-oh. We only have 12. So, we cannot mate with that individual, unfortunately. How easy would that be in life, though, right? You know, just tell a woman, Baby, I got 15 strength. Okay, you're good to go. Nothing else really matters, no romanticizing, no dating period, no awkward thing. It's like, have you met the requirements? Yes? Okay, let's go. We're ready. Of course, I'm only saying that because, you know, my unfortunate luck with women, but that's besides the point. So we have another card flip over here for midlife. Uh, beyond midlife, you don't want to get too far in because you will start diminishing your um, offspring chance of actually, you know, rolling a pretty good card here. So we're going to flip one more time. We can do strength, but let me go with one of these bad boys over here. We'll do... Oh, we... Ex yeah. I guess. I'm not too crazy about it, but so be it. We got another life expectancy. 
I'm gonna fight this guy over here because I think we have a pretty good chance of Scott Hero of Soldat. So we're gonna attack this bad boy over here. Ooh, that's no good for us. No good for us. I'm gonna flee him bad. Okay. Um, as you can see here, our hero took a little bit of damage, so he's kind of over here bleeding a little bit. He's like, I, he got like battle scars going on, which isn't too bad. Let's try this out one more time. Let me get a good roll. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my lord, my rolls are just terrible. Alrighty, let me grab this one treasure again, and <laughs> we're fucking out of here. That dragon's over here pissed off, and we're done. Quest complete again, another 500 fame. We're up to 1807, which is actually more than the top one, so that's pretty good. 22 strength. 5 combat damage, 2800 gold. I think we are ready to retire, so let's go back in here. Oh my lord, is this really who I want to fucking mate with? What's going on with your face? You look like fucking Beetlejuice or something. Alrighty, well, Fitty loves us, so that's good. She required 300 fame, so the lady that wanted 15 strength's gone already, so we can't really mate with her anymore, but that's fine. So she was going to be the one, and uh, we're going to choose her. Alrighty, so final score, 1807, fame, squire. So we're early retiring as a squire, so obviously as the further you go on, you'll probably get um better titles over here. So I get to name my hero now. And first hero is going to be fucking apparently Beetlejuice Jr. Sounds pretty good considering how our... M oh, come on, I can't... I don't think I even spelled Beetlejuice correctly. That was Betelgeuse. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> uh, let's just uh, go with... um. Let's just call the Juice. All right, this is going to be the Juice right here. And um, choose. Oh, you have to have some flips here. Now, the flips are going to be the traits that you pass on to your child. The better your character is, just, which is the reason you want to kind of get more fame and more fortune and more traits, is that you'll be able to pass on more card flips to your offspring whenever they um, are, you know, produced, right? So right now we have five card flips. This is a, a guaranteed strength boost. Let me start off with this one, hopefully. Oh, actually, let me choose the name here. So we have seven flips left. Um, what this is telling us is that in the, I guess, the board over here, we have two trade cards that we could pick up, and we also have three rare cards. The rare cards are usually like a really big amount of gold, a big amount of da of strength, fame, etc, etc. Um, let's see here. So we have seven flips. Let's start off with the strength one just in case. So we have one plus strength. Good. Um, let me flip over here. We have one more for combat damage. Another one for strength. We got one of the rare ones, which is 1280 gold to start off with. Uh, 280 gold. As you can see, really big jump from the rare to the non-rare one. We'll pick this one up over here, which is plus two to combat damage, which is pretty good as a rare card. And we have one flip left. Let's see if we can pick up a trade over here. That'd be nice. No, just gold. Alrighty. So we're going to have a kind of a wealthy type of kid over here growing up. I guess we give him like a trust fund or something. And this is going to be the juice. Yep, yep. You got your mother's face, that's for sure. <laughs> Alrighty, the temple building has been invented. Description. Produces two lifespan for heroes every 15 years. Okay. So two lifespans for heroes every 15 years. That's... Produces two lifespans for heroes every two years? 15 years? Oh, oh, you get an extra two to your lifespan every 15 years. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. Reading comprehension. How does it work? World gossip. I haven't heard anything new lately. And that's going to be kind of interesting, too, because every now and then you will pick up gossip that will kind of open stuff up to you. Now, when you start off again, your offspring does not know what the layout looks like, so it's kind of up to you to kind of figure it out again. And again, everything that you do in the game... In the meantime, that you're kind of producing your own offspring, the rest of the world is also changing as well because we've run into other different factions that are also producing their offsprings and they're also kind of shaping up the map depending on where they came from, etc., etc. So the world is constantly revolving around that, so it's not going to always be the same thing. Alrighty, so right now we have... That's a pretty good st uh, start off for strength, though. Three, and we have eight combat damage. This is a new child right now. Okay, and we're 16 years old. We're not going to mess with the uh, temple right now because it's going to spawn the uh, monster. So let me actually come down over here. Age 17, we... Got a little bit of extra gold here. 300 gold, as a matter of fact, so that's pretty good. Alrighty, let's continue going down this side. This guy with the horns over here. Are you moving away? He did move away. We'll pick this up over here, which is another 400 gold. Our person is going to be rich at the ass over here. And we also have an observatory, I think. We could actually upgrade this ourselves, too, even if we don't come from here, apparently. Uh, we could destroy it. And then we could also do the monument, which is dedicated to your family. Mates in nearby towns are always in love with you. That's 7,000 gold, though, which, you know, we're kind of missing out a little bit here. We're not going to get into it. Oh, no, Dragon Man. Okay, Dragon Man. You know what? This is a really terrible layout that we got. And I'm only saying that because um, we're adults now, which is good. Next one, we have a card flip. Let's do let's do one for this one over here. Five years, so life expense is good. That means if we lose a battle, it won't hurt us too much. Um, we have a pretty bad layout because we can't really cross over here without going all the way around through here or through here. So that's uh, a little bit unfortunate for us. Let me see about trying to fight this guy. Is that going to work? Yeah. I don't like it. 
I don't like the chances of it, but let me give it a try. Maybe we'll get lucky with a roll. We broke even. And we both withdrew. Okay. And we're back again. <laughs> and alrighty, let's try it one more time. Oh, he just wrecked my shit. That's no good. Alrighty. So I dropped this quite a bit here. Uh, we're a little bit jacked up. Let me grab this over here. And let me just return it back to our town. Get this dragon off my back over here. Quest complete. Ancient treasure, etc. Ancient treasure. Okay. And we got some gold over here. So we're up to 3240 right now. So that's pretty good. You know what? We're going to do we're gonna call an episode here, though. Because right now we're doing pretty good. I wanted to give you the introduction, the basics of it. So I apologize if the video is a little bit more tutorialized than you'd like. Believe me. I just do it just for the um, favor of people that are just finding about the game. And I want them to kind of know how it is. Episode 2 and onward. It's going to be a little bit more freestyle, a little bit more fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does me a lot. Hero Generations. Check it out. I have a description in the... Well, I have a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. And, um, you know, tune in for a second, episode 2. If you guys know anything about the game, you want to kind of share information with me, do so. I love to hear it in the comments and tell me how terrible I am. And other than that, I will catch you next time.